Oh my god, there's a wasp. The flip. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day because what we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing a front splitter on the Mark 5 Golf. But this isn't your ordinary splitter. Oh, this is a poor man splitter because what it is, it's basically just a, um, a, a, a rope of rubber. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, it's literally just rubber and a stick on. Um, and yeah, I mean, I did see some, you know, more expensive, more nicer front splits, but what's the point? Because, you know, if I do manage to find a cheap um, GTI front bumper, that's the plan. I'm probably going to um, convert it, do a conversion, a GTI conversion. So, yeah, um, just for now, we're going to try the um, cheap £7 eBay front splitter. Um, I'm hoping it's going to look alright. I mean, it's not just for the front. It is universal, so you can do the front, the back, the, I don't know, the steering wheel, whatever you want. Anyways, yeah, um... Let's unbox it then. Right, so as you guys can see, we've got the bag over here and a very nice view. Well, apart from the clouds. Anyways, yeah, let's open it. Yeah, can you believe there's a, there's a split heart in this bag? Anyways, oh, so here we go. Here we have it. I mean, first impression is quite heavy. Um, let's open it, I guess. Oh, bloody yeah, that stinks like shit. Okay, so yeah, um, it's a bit stinky, but yeah, here we have it. Here's a uh, from the split, it's very squishy, like I've got to say, very squishy. Wait, let me let me smell it. Claudio, man, that smells brand new. Okay, so it's definitely new. We've got the 3M tape um, going all around, which is essentially going to stick onto the that thing over there. And yeah, and what else can I say? It's got sellotape tape here, so it doesn't fall out. You know what? Let's open it. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! So essentially, it's gonna stick there, and you know we're gonna have this thing protruding out, which is gonna be awesome. Anyways, but there are gonna be some things we're gonna have to do first. Hold on, let me just get it. Some towels, um, cleaning spray, which is in the house, and what we might need is scissors because if your front bumper's got like sharp bends, then you're gonna, you're gonna have to cut the the sticky part so it like bends all nicely. Oh shit! Yeah, and. Maybe some I'm gonna need sandpaper in my kids because my front lip is basically scuffed up as well So yeah, we're gonna have to sand that down and that's it pretty much. It's a pretty easy job. It is super easy So oh my god, there's a wasp The slit Oh shit I'm gonna get first is your sandpaper. Well, I'll need it anyway because as you can see my front lip is pretty scuffed up like you can't really see, but I can feel it. Yeah, there, there you go. Like, you, and like, if it's like this, yeah, it's not gonna like stick on properly. So what, what we wanna do is make this as smooth as possible. Then we're gonna clean it. Then we'll stick it on. Simple. So let's get this um, sanded down. As you guys will see, as we do sand it, you do get like this um, orangish color on it. Don't worry about that because once you clean it, wet it down, it will go. Because this is literally essentially all black, so you're not gonna be revealing anything underneath. So yeah, just go ahead, scrape this whole thing, and once it's smooth, it should be good to clean it. Now that I've sanded down the whole bump part of the bumper, as you can see, we've managed to get most of the deep scratches up, but I mean light scratches, sorry. But as you can see, there are some still like pretty deep ones which you couldn't get rid of. But just try your best, you know, it's not that important, it is a cheap front lip so anyways and yeah we can't buy replacements for these for like what two quid anyways what we want to do now get some cleaning whatever you call it and a cloth we're gonna be cleaning this whole section you want to make sure you do it very properly because that needs to stick on anyways yeah let's get this cleaned Now that we've done the boring stuff, of actually cleaning it and drying up, now the scary stuff. So, what you want to do, grab your side skirt, and I'll tell you why we might need the scissors afterwards. Okay, so we've got a side skirt. How it's going to go, basically like this. And the reason why we might need scissors is because you see how we're gonna, it's going to have to be turned. 
as you can see when you turn it it bends around a bit here you see so that's what I'm a bit confused like if, if, if it's worth actually costing it or not but to be quite honest I can't I'm not, I don't really care because I probably am going to change the bumper but let's just see how it looks like so what it will stick like that roughly I mean it's pretty malleable so I reckon I reckon we don't have to do it you know what I'm just gonna go for it again if it doesn't work out then it was only seven pounds so yeah let's make a start we'll start by taking one corner off and then just like that and we'll start sticking from the edge Right, so as you can see what I'm doing, I'm leaving the 3M tape on a little bit and bit by bit I'm just sticking it, I'm sticking the front spare on. And you know what? It's already looking sick for like seven pounds. So once you reach the end, what you're gonna have to do is grab your scissors and you wanna make sure you cut it in a nice line. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hop to the other side real quick and see how it's done there because you know we want it to look the same. So yeah, it's basically a dead straight cut. Is it? Yeah, dead straight cut. So yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. Let's just cut this. And how was it done? Oh my god. Yeah. So we've done that part. And now. I'm gonna cut a bit inwards. Hmm. It looks a bit rough to be honest, but again, because. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around the whole car and, you know, make sure it's stuck on properly. Then we'll see how it looks overall. Guys, would you look at that? Oh, that looks so sick. Oh my god. Are you dumb? Like, oh, that cost me seven pounds. I mean, look, I know it doesn't look great. I know, you know, it doesn't look professional. It does look cheap, but that's only because it was cheap. And like I said, I am planning on doing a G-Shack conversion, but as for now though, oh my God, it looks so sick. I mean, you know what I like about it? It's not like in your face, it's really so because it's black here. Yeah. You know, like I'm the kind of guy who likes clean cars. I'm not really about, you know, I don't want to be like out there, you know what I mean? I, I like that, I like, I want the car to look a little rather subtle and I think we've achieved that to be honest. I mean, a little bit back, because I'm an idiot, you can kind of tell like it's not une it's not even. Like if you go really back for some reason. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it looks shit now, doesn't it? All right, whatever, I don't care. I like it, seven pounds, I don't think you can go wrong with that. But what I might do actually, I don't really like this part because like it looks a bit weird because it just like cuts off right there. What I might do, I might do some DIY work. As you can see, it looks a bit weird, isn't it? It looks like it's kind of falling off. You know what? Let me grab the scissors. What I might do actually, I might cut it at an angle. So maybe that that way it looks more finished because right now it looks like it's just been chopped off anyway. You know what? Let's try it out. So we'll try to cut it on an angle. And see how it looks. Oh, you know what? That looks 10 times better. And now we're going to do the same to the other side. We're just going to essentially cut it at an angle. Um, we do it like that. Come on, cut off. Who'd have thought I'd be cutting a front splitter? Oh no, I messed it up. Come on.
I just cut those little parts sticking out in there. Check these up, you don't need to leave rubbish around. Now let's see how it looks. Does it look better? Ah, uh, you know what? I like it. I think it looks, makes it look a bit better. Does it? Yeah, it does, it does. It makes it look more finished in my opinion. But yeah, you don't have to do that. You can just leave it on, but end of the day, you know, it, it's more like a temporary thing. I don't really care about that much. It looks all right, seven pounds. I'm pretty gassed, it does make it look epic. Anyways, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this front splitter. I mean, I really like it, but the fact that I'm an idiot and I made it uneven, it's kind of put me off, but nah, I like it, man. It looks sick. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video, and yeah, peace. See you in the next one.